Good morning, friends. It's great to be with you today on this broadcast. I thank you for tuning into this broadcast today. I would like to share with you some thoughts in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse number 1. And it says, You hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sin. That simply means, and you he has made alive. We're a new creature in Jesus Christ when we know him. It talks about our past and times past in verse 2. We walked according to the world, according to the prince and the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. And that spirit of the enemy, the devil, is ever prevalent going around today trying to influence people in all kinds of things. And it says in verse 3, and among whom also we had our conversation or our conduct. In times past in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and mind, were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. And you know where if we are if we are listening to this flesh and everything, and if we're letting the flesh control us instead of us controlling the flesh, we're in a lot of trouble. But verse four said, But God is rich in mercy. He is very rich in mercy, for his great for his great love wherewith he has loved us. He loves us with an everlasting love. Even when we were dead in our trespasses and sins, has made us alive together in Christ. In parentheses, by grace are you saved, and that not of yourself, it is a gift of God. And it also says in verse number six, hath raised us up together and made us sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That, that's one of the great things we had. He's raised us up together where we can understand the very principles of God and what God is all about. And also says that in the ages to come, we might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Jesus Christ. All through the ages that the riches of God's grace is ever prevalent, and he's going to throw show forth his kindness with Jesus Christ. And then it says in verse 8 something I said just a minute ago, from our grace always saved through faith. And that not of yourself, it's a gift of God. And then it goes on to say in verse 10, it's not any kind of works, lest any man should boast. If we get to thinking that our works is going to get us to heaven and we're good, you know, there's, there's a lot of things we need to work on when we get to thinking about that. Our works is not going to get us to heaven. It's by the grace of God. Now, let, don't get me wrong. I think it's good to work for God and do the things of God. And I think it's good to do those things, and I so, but we're not dependent upon our own works to get us to heaven. It says we are his workmanship. God is developing us. He has put us on that wheel where he can mold us and make us after his will. We are his workmanship. We're created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God hath ordained that we should walk in them. Where remember that in times past, Gentiles in the flesh who were called uncircumcision by what is called circumcision in the flesh by made by hands. And then verse 13 says, Bound Christ Jesus, you were sometimes were afar or made nigh by the blood of Jesus Christ. It's the blood of Jesus Christ that is going to get you to heaven. It's our confession in our heart and saying, I want Jesus Christ in my life above everything else. And that's the thing that's so important today in our lives that we realize that we have to have. Our grace of God, verse 14, he is our peace. When you have Jesus Christ, you have peace. And he is our peace who hath made us one and hath broken down that middle wall of partition. And you know, when Jesus is in the cross, the veil was rent from top to bottom, meaning that we have access now to the, to the most holiest, the holiest of God. And when we kneel and pray, we've got access to the grace of God and the greatest thing that ever happens. If you're not saved today, you need to think about this very seriously because your soul is at stake because it's appointed unto man wants to die and after death it's a judgment. So God is looking at our hearts today to see who all is ready. Jesus is getting us ready for that great day. We are his workmanship created unto good works. We are made alive. When we get saved, we are made alive in Jesus Christ. We no longer walk according to the prince and power of the air, but we walk according to the blessings of God and the grace of God that God has given us. I'll tell you, this is a wonderful chapter, and I, I would also mention to you in verse 20, for we are built up on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, 
Jesus Christ being him the chief cornerstone himself also. And so I encourage you, if, you're, if you'd like to study the Bible, look at Ephesians chapter 2 and search it out verse by verse. I've covered it pretty quickly today as, as the best I could. I want to tell you that Jesus loves you. If you're not saved today, it's time to call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible says, whosoever call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. It says in Jeremiah 33 and 3, Call upon me and I will answer thee, and I will show thee great and mighty things yet that you know none of. This is Raymond Mayfield, and I'm so glad and I'm so happy to be able to come to you today and minister all over the world. Thank you for listening to this. I pray for blessings upon your life. I pray God will bless your family, upon your home. Everything that you're doing, that you put your hands to do, he'll bless it. In Jesus' name, that's my prayer for you today. Go with God, and he will certainly go with you every day that you walk by faith. Thank you for listening to this broadcast today, and I will talk to you real soon.